Currently back on the comms. Right now, Omar has taken the first game over Galactic World. Both of them having a pretty solid runner bracket. Galactic World, after losing out early to Hobby, has made a really nice loser's run. And has beaten Tipsy as his last opponent. But Omar had a really strong set with Jax to put him down here. Although, DeWitt, yeah, he also has an Asian Glow for today. And we're seeing the Galactic World Joker come out. It's kind of happening. He has that hard pool of characters that he can pull. If the Belmont still work, he has so much to work with. And Omar's opting for the Roy this time. This is also seen in Game 1, but of course, he's mainly the Cloud player. But the Roy gets some work done on its own. Little jabs here and there, not really much else to talk about. Just kind of... Hitting each other a bit, waiting out the down B for Classic World. The world is gonna get beaten out by Royce Grab. The side B is gonna hit, but also the side B from Joker's gonna hit. The pressure is not quite there on that regard, but the Tomahawk jab not really working out either. This is the percent where both these characters can be very lethal. 90% on Joker, Roy is terrifying. That back air, just right there. Might be a fly to build it because I saw Omar just throw his hand up. There's a fly that has been in this building for several times. It has been the annoyance and 
ire of several of these players. It is the enemy of everyone and no one wins. Forward smash is Galactic World trying to get something done. And his movement's kind of working nice though. He's being relatively non committal with it. That could get him stuck rather than just death smashing. And that's, he's got punished for that. Down air, not gonna get hit. Up smash, not gonna get hit. Omar goes back with drop down side B. Down air, only hitting the first time, unfortunate. No, down in there. A lot of moves have been thrown out, but the forward air, forward tilt, is gonna be what sealed the deal on Galactic. And he still has Arsene. This could be trouble on both sides, as Roy might be able to kill early, but Arsene is Arsene. You do not wanna deal with that. Forward air instead of back air, probably wants the safety, and you know back air wouldn't kill there. So don't flub the execution. So reads the roll hard, but does not get the S smash. If that was Krom, that would have killed, but the sour spot on Roy does not work for that. Down B was held for a while and the S smash has been done there. The Galactic World has some making up to do, but it's not nearly impossible, I'd say at all. Oh, I thought he had it didn't seem like he had a jump there, but he got out okay. Just a bit of chip damage here and there. Although chip damage is Roy. Is not the greatest because he has such long kill power. The yes, smash not really going to work out. I don't believe that too, Frank. So if he might have been trying to catch her early recovery by Omar, he did not fight. Goes to the platform. A bit of a late reaction there. These borders not really going to work out. He's waiting at the Arsene, and that is not going to kill a bit too far off. Down air is not going to do it. The up air is not going to get it done. But oh wow, that. I can't believe that up smash missed. That, yeah, I cannot believe that up smash missed. not for FD as the counterpick stage. Down to uh, but we saw from Omar himself that it's far from over. If you have two games down, you can bring it back. You can get it all the way done. This game has just begun. Sora is Galactic's choice of character. Little fire action here. He has the center, but misses out on the grass. Up air combo, not really into anything here. But when he is rewarded with that 9%. Thunder, not gonna get him. The down smash gets beaten out by the drop down there. The side B is such a tricky move to fight. And the third one is gonna catch Omar. Sora is a very tricky character to fight for sure. As the final character for sure, he has, I definitely say he has people that will beat him out by heavy mass experience. But the lack of usage of him is turns off more than that. And also, I'd argue the lateness of his arrival. Especially, I think is what makes a lot of people tripped up by him. There's just not as many Soras out there as plenty of other characters. The counter is going to fail for Galactic, though. Omar takes the first stop. That smash not really going to work out. He's trying to cycle through his spells, and it did not work for him out. He is still in this disadvantage state, but Sora moves like it's underwater. It can be so hard to hit him that way. Side B is going to connect Thunder, not really spaced the way he might have wanted it to. And Omar is able to escape, but he gets the hit there, down smash. Omar waits it out. These options are pretty preempted by Galactic, and these options are going to be snuffed out. He read him hard there, so hard, but the spacing was just wrong. Too early on the Thundaga. And the Blizzaga, not going to work out. Another stock taken for Omar. This boy is working quite well for him, really. He's been able to be aggressive in that invincibility of down smash. He's going to get out the court to stop. <clears throat> but this Roy's been really working well for Omar. Just like can, he, a concept that I'm thinking about is I think very few players truly conceptualize the idea that they are playing without the rules of the game. And I feel as though, I kind of feel that more with Omar's role in this cloud. He is playing by his own rules, rather than what the game restricts him to. And I do believe that there are few players in every level that can really save themselves, that I can truly be like, yeah, I 
broke the rules of this game. And you are going to have to work with my own Tech Chase does go forwards. Avoids Thundaga, not the Blizzaga, and does not die. This is it. Counter off it. Nice timing. And Omar with the pretty quick 3-0 on Galactic World. Nice run, though.